If you're building a website with Elementor and want to create custom headers or footers that look great and are also responsive across mobile and tablet, then you might be stuck because you'd need Elementor Pro to do that. But what if I told you that I built this header only with free version of Elementor, a free plugin to design Elementor headers and another free plugin for custom header fonts. Cool, right? I also built this sticky header that becomes transparent on scroll. So I'll show you how to create such headers in five steps. And first, let's start with searching for a free header plugin, which is this one. So let's install that. Then search for this plugin to add custom fonts. Here it is. Let's install this as well. Oh, and one disclaimer, before we begin, let's go to themes and you can see that I'm using Astra and not the default Elementor theme because this plugin doesn't work with this theme. So just pick any other theme before you begin. Now let's go to appearance, then click on menus. Next, click on create a new menu, give it a name. Let's call it awesome menu and hit create. Then add all the pages we want in our menu. Now click on customize, then header builder, and then click the logo and upload it. Once done, hit publish. All right, now to create a header, go to appearance, then Elementor header and footer, and click add new. Give it a name, and from the drop down, we can make a header or footer. For now, select header. Next, we need to choose where we want this header to appear. But for now, let's enable it across the whole site and for everyone to see it. Then click publish and edit with Elementor. First, let's adjust the navigator widget like this. Then click on the plus icon and select flexbox. Choose this one with two sections and set the width to full. Adjust the width to leave more space for the logo and navigation menu. Minimize this and scroll down to find Elementor header and footer builder. This has a few free widgets, but that's more than enough to create a great header. Drag the site logo widget into the left container, followed by the navigation menu. Select the left container and adjust the alignment to place the logo and menu side by side. Now let's add the buttons on the right. Search for the button widget and drag it into the right container. To add a second button, right click on the first button and select duplicate. Now let's adjust the container's direction to side by side to place the buttons neatly. Next, let's change the background color of the header. Select the container, head to styles, and I'll go with this color. Next, we will adjust the size of this logo. Click on the logo, go to style, and set the width. Once done, click update. Now, let's add a custom font to this header, which Elementor doesn't allow, but no worries because we have a free plugin for this. So let's go back to our admin dashboard, click on appearance, then custom fonts, and add a name for a new font like Nexa. Then you can upload a font file, which if you don't have, just download it from Google Fonts. It's free and super easy. Make sure to also upload a bold version and set its weight to bold. Then save it and go back to our Elementor tab. Refresh it. And now inside the typography settings, you can also see the custom font. Select the bold version like this. Next, click here to change the font color and I'll go with this one. Then adjust the hover text color from here. Let's add some spacing to increase the gap between the menu items. Finally, let's add a simple hover effect. Set the link hover effect to underline and choose the underline color. This will make the underline appear when you hover over the menu items. For the buttons, Let's select the first button and update the text. Then go to style, change the font style to this, and adjust the font size. 
set the weight to light, modify the font color and button color as needed, and add a border radius of 50 for rounded corners. To complete the look, let's add padding of 15 pixels on all sides. All right, so you can customize this design a lot more, but I've just made a basic version so that you can see all the steps and easily make your version. Now, to make this header responsive, first, we will do a little manual work on our design. But the most important step is the second one where we will install a free plugin. Okay, first, let's fix the design and then click here to open the responsive mode. Notice how the buttons don't look great on smaller screens. To fix this, select this container from the navigator, go to advanced, then responsive, and turn off this container for both tablet and mobile views. Next, select the container and set the weight to 100% to balance the logo and menu nicely. For tablet view, select the menu, go to styles, and at a drop down, change the background color like this. Set the top distance to 15 pixels to adjust the spacing. On mobile, we want the logo and menu to sit side by side. So hover over the logo, drag the border to the left to make room for the menu. Then adjust the menu's border to position it next to the logo. Then just save changes. And here's the final look of the header. So the menu items have a color change and a cool underline effect on hover. While the two buttons sit neatly on the right. On mobile devices, the header adjusts smoothly keeping everything modern and nice. Now, we'll install a free plugin that will handle the overall responsiveness and performance of our website. So let's go to lf.net and click sign up. Add your website link and download the plugin file. I can guarantee it's safe because this plugin is from the same team that's built Malcare and Blogworld, which are very successful plugins. So just go and upload the plugin then run the plugin and it will start analyzing your site. After a few minutes, you should see a final improvement in website speed. And if you scroll down, it's showing that image resizing has happened. They've been converted to WebP. Lazy loading has been done and all images on my homepage are optimized. So the total size has also gone down a lot, but let's see how good the responsiveness is. So we'll open an incognito window, open our website, then inspect element, and this is the image size for desktop. Now if I go up and change it to mobile view, the size is smaller because it's optimized for mobile viewing. And if I go up and click on responsiveness, it shows me all the devices that the image is responsive for. Now, if you want to create a sticky transparent header like this, or you want to also see how to create footers, then you can watch these videos next.